Hey guys, it's Jesse with Green Chick Gardens, and today I've got my beautiful wife Mabry with me. We're gonna do a big unboxing, the biggest one yet, and it may be the last one if Mabry finds out uh, how much all these plants cost. So uh, let's go! I have no idea what's in this box either, by the way. <clears throat> I'm a little nervous. This is the size of this thing. There's a lot of plants in here. All right, so I'm gonna open this up first. Well, let me get out of your way. Also, if you can hear, Miss Nora Jane is also here. She's just inside. It's bedtime. Okay. I'm nervous. So we've got a crazy ton of plants in here. I think there's probably eight or nine plants. Here, watch what you're doing. Yeah. So we're going to get these out one at a time. And I'll let Mabry okay. open it up. Could you bring some scissors or something out here? Just be careful. Honestly, you know I should not be doing this. All right. Oh. So this is the first one we got in. This is a mint monstera, no ID. Beautiful looking specimen. You got some sick coral variegation on each of the leaves quite a bit. I think you can tell the heat kind of did a little bit of a number on this while it was coming in because it's a little, little flimsy, which I'm going to just say is dehydration, not enough humidity, but we'll get it going. It's a pretty looking plant though, and I love mint monstera. That's my favorite monsteras. So we're going to just keep this one growing on and hopefully take a few cuttings off of it in the future. This is... This is a variegated radi radiatum, which used to be a philodendron. Now it's a word I don't know how to pronounce. This is just a bottom cutting. I really love the leaf shape on these, and so I just wanted to get uh, get one of them going and started, so I could hopefully grow a couple new. It looks like it already has a second little baby leaf coming out there. Doesn't it? Yeah, right there. Cool. So, yeah. already started some new growth, so that's awesome. And it should be pretty established then. See if there's any variegation on it. There definitely is. So, that'll be a nice little plant in the future. Awesome. The radiatum. Next step on the chopping block. All right, next up is a Florida Beauty Cross that we, these are newer plants coming to the market. So I wanted to get my hands on a couple of these. I know I had one of these on my wish list plants earlier this year. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty nice specimen. Oh, this is really pretty. So this is Florida Beauty crossed with the Mayoi. The Florida, Florida Beauty Mayoi. It's got gorgeous variegation on it. Huge leaves. Yeah. There's four mature leaves and a fifth one coming out. And that's going to make a really, really yeah, pretty plant. Yeah, did you know Nora? She likes like it. it. Ooh. Watch me, guys, here in just a minute. I'm going to cut the top right off on these plants. Be coming out of your allowance. I can only imagine the amount of dope you try to crack. 
This one is a golden dragon, and this is the mint uh, variegation. And uh, it's a very pretty plant. This one was a great deal, and it's already a very well-established plant. How many leaves are on that? One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. Seven. Seven or so leaves. A pretty big plant. Yeah. And Golden Dragon's just one of my favorite. The leaf shape on these is just awesome. And from my experience, the Golden Dragon grows about as good as any philodendron I have. Super vigorous grower. And so I thought, can't go wrong with a is couple a new Golden Dragons. Right here? Yep. And the newest growth is on its way out. I said it'll, it'll be out in a couple. Those are roots, aerial oh. roots. Oh, okay. Yep. Nice. Good for propagation. Beautiful. All right, this one I am pretty excited about. It was just a cutting of a Monstera. She's held it for me uh, while a couple of the others were acclimating and I think it since has put on a new leaf, the newest leaf, so I really want to see what it looks like. But this is the Lemon Lime Monstera Deliciosa. A pretty brand new variety. And uh, it hasn't came out just yet, so still gonna have to wait on the newest leaf here. But this is just a Monstera you don't ever see. And it's definitely got a contorted form to it, kind of like the ocean mint he's but the, really close to doing something yeah that's the newest leaf there and we'll see what it looks like but i'm pretty excited to see this is definitely a weird looking monstera uh but definitely rare and not too many of them out there so i want to see how it grows and uh i don't know see if we can size it up it's got a very unique color to it yeah. definitely a lemon lime color looks like a sprite bottle given banana to me all right, banana. Banana. But that's the lemon lime monstera, and I'll keep you guys updated on this one as it continues to grow. The dragon. What's the name? Variegated. Variegated dragon. This is the other dragon we bought, and this is just the elbow. Uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful elbow. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Like as you know, with Christmas. the golden dragon, that elbow variegation can be kind of wishy-washy i had one and it's all but reverted on me and so i got this one it has great half moon variegation on pretty much every leaf yeah this one's really pretty over here but it's got good variegation on pretty much every leaf there yeah that, look how beautiful that is let's get this one and like i said from my experience, these things grow like crazy. So I was thinking with this already being a well-established plant. What's the newest leaf here? There's a new leaf coming right here. Yeah, right inside. Uh, so I think we can get some propagations off of this pretty quick too. And they should have stable elbow variegation, which is what we're looking for. Beautiful. All right, we got two more. This is another Florida mm. Beauty Cross. This is the one that was on First my scissors. wish list. The bugs are coming out, you guys. We gotta wrap it up. Oh. This is one I've been trying to get a hold of that I think is absolutely stunning. Great leaf shape. I love the cross with the Florida Beauty. I think anything with Florida Beauty is gonna turn out pretty unique looking. This is the Florida Beauty crossed with the Tortum. Awesome leaf shape on these. This is a pretty established plant again. Um, I went for established plants on most of these because I do plan it's on. Beautiful. I know it's very pretty in there. Hey, Charlie. Take it easy. I plan on taking cuttings on these pretty darn soon. And uh, most of them already have great roots, uh, aerial roots in places. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting these on my Etsy. I have put a couple things on Etsy. So uh, if you guys want to go check it out, Green Chick Gardens on Etsy, uh, we're, we're starting to get some stuff going over there. Charlie, 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 go. Is this the one I'm going to go up? I think so. 
apparently this is the winner of the um, day. Um, not for me per se, but I think it'll be your favorite. Okay. Oop. You're ruthless with the scissors. Maybe just let me do it. Oh, hold her up. Hold her up. Oh, hell. This Ooh. is a very mature caramel marble philodendron. Huge leaves. I didn't realize those were going to be that big. Look at oh my look gosh. how large the leaf is on that. I mean, here, let me step back a little that bit. That is pretty good looking. I mean, it? that is very pretty. I don't know if you can really tell how pretty it is because we don't have great lighting here. We're set up on a ring light, but. Jesse doesn't know how to turn the ring light on. I lost the power cord. That's a pretty awesome plant, though. I did not yeah, think it was going to be that, that big. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I wonder why this leaves. That's this the color. newest leaf. Oh, so it'll all, the new leaves look like yep. this color. And then it'll harden off. To, yeah. But that's a huge caramel marble right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. You're right. This one is my favorite. <laughs> I figured it would be. Yeah, I love it. Well, guys, that is all of the plants that we had to unbox here. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine plants, and they're all pretty darn big. So uh, we're going to let these things adjust in the greenhouse for a little bit. And we are also going to start updating our Etsy and getting cuttings and propagations put on there um, so that you guys can share in some of the joy of these awesome, awesome variegated plants. Uh, thanks to my wife for doing the unboxings and helping me out in here. And allowing him to buy these plants. That as well. And that supporting as well. him and letting him come out here at night. She is an amazing person. Mm -hmm. Man, I love her dearly. Thanks, honey. Um... But that's it. Uh, you guys like and subscribe to Green Chick Gardens. And comment if you would love to see me come back. Because I am willing yeah. to shine a little brightness on everyone's day. She's only right inside of the house every time I'm recording these. But uh, we'll see you guys next time.